Excellent. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk about how we use trans transcribos at the National Library of Norway. And um, this by describing the workflow from scanned images to full text search. Next, please. As many of you know, the National Library of Norway has a vast digitized uh, digital collection. So in 2005, we started the digitization program with the ambition to digitize all our, our collections. And as of 2021, uh, 22 actually now, uh, and in terms of text material, um, which I will focus on here, uh, this goal is, in, is, is within reach. So all books, uh, about 600,000, have been uh, digitized, and that is a text corpus of about uh, 33 billion words, which is quite a lot. And if you look at the newspapers, even more, so it's about 110 billion uh, words, making it one of the biggest uh, text corpora in the world, actually, uh, available, uh, available uh, for, uh, for usage uh, online. But when looking at our manuscripts, um, as of until now, we haven't been able to, uh, to give such numbers because we have only, well, fairly recently at least started to do HTR. So next slide, please. This is what our landing page of our digital library uh, looks like, nb.no slash search. And it provides full text search and full text view, uh, provided that you have uh, access uh, to the material. So mo many, very, as a, many of our books can be accessed and browsing uh, this page from a Norwegian IP address. Uh, and many of the older manuscripts are, uh, uh, most of them are in the public domain, so they can be uh, browsed worldwide. Next, please. So the DH Lab uh, at the National Library of Norway, which I represent together, for example, with my colleagues Ingrid Bayer and Andre Kvosen, who are uh, in, present at the conference, uh, we offer um, services, corpus services, based on our digital collection. So we do, we have a REST API for uh, which provides concordances, collocations, uh, and frequency lists. Uh, next, please. And the missing link. Um, so we have, we have lot, we have fifteen years of experience in uh, in OCR for uh, printed material, books and newspapers, but. Um, not so much, or until recently, not so much experience with HDR. So um, until now, up until now, we had we had this uh, we have had uh, many manuscripts available uh, in uh, in the service, but on, without a text layer. And here, Transcribus uh, comes to the rescue. We have uh, exp uh, experience with it since 2016 and became member of the Recoop uh, in, in 2020. Next, please. So uh, the National Library of Norway is a founding member of the IIIF consortium, and we make heavy use of that in our digital library. So IIIF uh, was the best starting point uh, for feeding um, images to transcribers. Next, please. Um, and so the, the workflow when working with our um, um, digital manuscripts is that we upload uh, images of digitized manuscripts uh, using the Transcribus API. And uh, the images themselves are uh, stored and uh, on service at the National Library, uh, made available through our uh, IIIF um, API. And we use simply the IIIF manifest in that, uh, for that purpose for each document. And then we do document analysis, uh, lay layout analysis, and HDR in Transcribus. Uh, we download, we then download the page, uh, the page X XML uh, format uh, uh, and convert it to Alto XML using XSLT and feed it back to Elastic, which is our full text uh, uh, search engine and the NB uh, National Library Triple IFU. Next, please. So this is what a sample page from a, uh, from a letter, a 19th century letter could look like. Um, we have the, the page itself, the digitized the scan page, and uh, an optional view uh, of the text layer. And the last slide, please. Here uh, we show you how we, uh, we implemented. So this is the way we implemented highlighting, for example, and snippet view uh, in, uh, within one single document. So here we, I search for the personal pronoun, yay, I, and uh, you see here that we uh, highlight the uh, the occurrences of that word, and you, you get 
some uh, context and our readers are actually able to to work with this text layer uh, in addition to the, the images themselves okay uh, so now we hope that to apply this to we have applied this to 3500 uh, uh, documents and we hope to expand this uh, in the future we have about i think uh, 250000 manus manuscript in our collections so more to come thank you thank you Are there any questions from the audience? Yes, please. Uh, the question was whether you curate the text in some form, um, whether you do any corrections on it. Did I get that correctly, Paulina? Um, so we do, uh, I'm not really the person to answer this question, unfortunately, because I'm not a part of this process, um, but we have trained a model uh, for handwritten Norwegian, uh, 19th century, early 20th century Norwegian. Um, I'm not sure how then results, uh, 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 there, there might be some curation, yes, but I'm, I'm actually not quite sure about that. But yeah, pardon me. Okay, so someone else in the audience. That's the excellent. Yeah. <laughs> you hear it? I could hear it, but yeah. Okay. So, any other questions or comments? Uh, if there aren't any, I think we can move on to the next presentation. And, Magnus, we will send you your mug because it uh, shouldn't be your disadvantage that you couldn't come here. Um, please just write to Miriam at info at .eu and demand your mug. Thank so, you. Um, thank you for joining us. And next up is Stefan von der Heide from uh, Content Conversion Specialists, a German uh, company. And uh, he will be talking about the new Transcribus REST API and provide a, an experience report about a project with uh, Cyrillic Ukrainian handwriting.